Hi guys, you might remember this from previous videos. It's, uh, I think we've been, yeah, we did. I filmed here for the Conservatives. You know what Jen? Yes, I am. I'm just out and about, enjoying the sunshine, actually. You know one of those days where everything's conspiring against you right from the moment you get up? Slept through my alarm. I was up till just after 3 a.m. this morning, the editing videos and uh, adding stuff to the website that I just hadn't had time to before. I thought, I'll just get it over with. So I said I ended up sleeping through my alarm, so I was late to turn up to grab uh, leaflets to deliver today out at Nasty Bridge. And it's rained all the way. Thankfully it looks like my luck is turning because it's, the humidity is now dropping, obviously, from the rain. So hopefully things are on the up. I'm about to deliver around here, just going to try and wake up and then we'll be off. What I'm doing today is delivering leaflets and I think this is my favourite part of the campaign process because it hits the most people. When you're out uh, canvassing, you'll knock on a door, wait, see if someone's there. Usually they're not or they won't come to the door. There's a lot of people out there and I don't blame them. And then you move on and do the next one. It's slow. And I've worked out uh, over the last couple of nights that if I talk to 20 people on a canvas, I can hit about 400 doors to leaflet, which is a much better rate. Because I, even if you don't actually read the leaflet, as long as you've got a good headline that we have here, then people have already seen your message, which means regardless of whether they read the rest of the leaflet, you've already got your message through. So that's 400 people that you've hit, rather than 20 for a, a canvas. I prefer that. The numbers game is much better for that. So. This is the kind of day that I enjoy. Right, let's get back on with it. You see, before I was in politics, I did door-to-door -door sales. And one of the things that we had there was the idea of the numbers game. If you knock on oh, 10 doors, you will get one person to talk to you. If you knock on 100 doors, you get 10 people to talk to you, which means you'll get into one house to sell whatever product you're trying to sell. And it's similar here with politics. On the, instead of trying to sell a product, you're selling the idea. And as a result, if you knock on 100 doors and you get uh, 10 people to talk to you, that's great because you've uh, convinced a few people. So the numbers are different. It's not like 100 to 10 to 1. It's more like 100 to 10 to 20 or so. And then you'll talk to them and maybe some are already with you, maybe some aren't. But the ones in between are the ones that you're trying to convince. So you've got to do the numbers. However, with a leaflet, for every 20 houses that you actually talk to, you've still hit the 100, 200 houses. So that's pretty good. And then the conversion rate is usually a bit better because people are already thinking when they're looking at the leaflet and picking it up. You've seen the headline. You've already started to think about the idea, which means you've got a higher chance of convincing people. So I prefer the leafleting. <laughs> but canvassing is still necessary. Right, I better get on because as you can probably tell from me, I'm exhausted, but I've got a fair few to still go and then more this afternoon. So let's get on. So it's gone well so far. I think the rain uh, spotting on every now and again is keeping the humidity down enough that it's alright. Whoa, that's loud. I say, the rain uh, is spotting on and it's keeping the humidity down, which is great. So, hopefully, I can get through all this without uh, collapsing due to heat exhaustion or anything like that. It's really, really loud. Let's get on. Right, well, it's going well so far. Hopefully, this uh, rain will stay off like it seems to be. So, uh, a long day will turn into a nice day as well. I think it's time for some lunch and then we'll go out and deliver some more leaflets maybe. Or canvas, I don't know what's going to happen. It's one of those days where anything could happen. <gasps> Let's go and have some lunch. Right, 8.2 miles walk. Now I'm going to do some pull-ups and then get a quick wash before we head out because it's all go here. <laughs> As usual, I won't actually be able to do proper pull-ups and get myself off the ground, but I will try hard. <sighs> oh, what crap of foot, crap of foot. <laughs> In the magic of television, I'm stood off camera all the time. She's pretending. I'm not pretending. Yeah, you can do it without going on your tiptoes. Come on, move out of the way. No, I'm trying to pull myself up to the point where I can lift off. You're actually getting off the ground. My goodness, she is so much better at that than I am. I'm just really good at everything. That's just me. I'm awesome, and I'm such a catch. She's modest too. 
Well, you were pondering things. Well, I don't want to look really stupid. So you look gorgeous, don't worry. We're out at uh, Tavern Fair in West Horton for Stan's uh, 92nd birthday, so congratulations and many happy returns. 21 today, Grandad. Hey guys. If I look like I'm sat weirdly and awkwardly, it's because I've managed to pull my back. I don't like this getting old thing. It's been an interesting evening. It's been a great evening, in fact. I've been out with uh, the in-laws and uh, Jen's family, and it's been great. Oh, I'm in so much pain, though, so uh, this is going to be a short one, because... Ow. <sighs> I can't believe it. It's so easy to do. Right, see you tomorrow.